Where's the bird? I'm pretty sure he's still alive. We will keep looking for him, Captain. Then do me a favor. If he ever turns up, you give him this for me. Come to take a look at Matthew chapter 6, verse 14. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. was an American war hero. He was 47 days on a life raft floating around in the Pacific. And he began to drink when he came home, and he was confused and frustrated and mixed up in his life. And he too wandered into that tent on Washington and Hill in Los Angeles and found Christ as his Savior. And tonight, he is the director of the Victory Boys Camp for Juvenile Delinquents in Los Angeles, giving his full life now to try to rehabilitate juvenile delinquents and lead them to a knowledge of Jesus Christ. Lewis, we're delighted to have you with us tonight. Thank you, Billy. It was after the war and with about $10,000 in back pay from two and a half years in prison camp and also uh, collecting my life insurance for being dead, I became extremely selfish, cynical, and greedy until the uh, when was finally let out of my sails, I lost everything that I possessed outside of my wife and little girl. And it was then that my wife was able to persuade me into going down to that meeting. I asked the Lord Jesus Christ to come into my heart and save me. And of course he did.
teacher of kids that quit high school. They haven't accomplished anything. So I have a chart, and all during the week they gotta pass everything, boating, and I get them up on the top of the mountain and teach them glacier survival and rescue. So then at the end of the week, I show the kids, look at the things you've accomplished all week. They weren't easy. It shows that you can accomplish anything you want. Now you go back and finish your time and then go back and get your high school diploma and that's the first big accomplishment of your life. While I was still on my knees, my life changed in a matter of moments because I knew I was through getting drunk and I knew that I forgave my guards and I knew it was a miracle because I forgave the bird. And, and that was the first night. And the first night in two and a half years, I didn't have a nightmare and I haven't had one since. Forgiveness must be complete, uh, no matter who the person is. And I've had a few enemies even the last few years. And the only way I can forgive them is to pray for them. And that's what I do. Instead of hating them, I pray for them. And you just have to buckle up and for one of the greatest things. The guy said, aren't you, aren't you the guy that spent 47 days on the ramp? I said, yeah. He said, you're entitled to travel pay. I said, what? He said, that's a very efficient guy. He said, $7.60 a day times 47. He made out a bill, made over to Washington. And a week later, we got a, a, a response. And they said, uh, request denied, reason, travel unauthorized. 